Good morning and welcome back to a new video here with Life with the Bridges. You are joining us on part two of our stay here in the New Forest at Shawfield Country Park. If you didn't see our last video of our first three days here in the New Forest, I'll put a link above and feel free to click that to start watching the video from right at the start of this adventure. And let's just say this part two has started with a bang. This is how our morning started at half past three this morning. Hello, mister. Yes, sir. Uh, where's your tube? Did you pull it out in the night? I have to say, you look amazing without it, mate. Yeah. And because you had a lay-in, we've missed the opportunity to go swimming because we are now 50 minutes late for your meds. Yeah. Mummy's going to try and put it in, and if not, we've got to go to Southampton Children's Hospital to get it put in. Yeah. I mean, don't look so thrilled about it, mate. Vile thing. Yucky. New tube attempt happening now. It was all going so smoothly until Teddy pulled his tube out and brought us crashing back to earth in terms of what it's like to take away a child with a feeding tube. So, uh, as you can see, currently I am now taking a walk with Willow because Kate has actually ejected me from the building. We were just preparing his sticker as Kate is going to attempt to put another tube down. She has done it once before and hopefully she can do it again. Otherwise, it means that we have to go to Southampton Children's Hospital to get another NG tube put down, which isn't ideal, but is what it is. But I offered to help this time. I put my big boy pants on and Kate actually said, look, can you just let me do it on my own? I said, absolutely fine. So I've come to take Willow out for a morning wee. By the time I have finished this dog walk, hopefully my son has a new tube in his face and we can continue this amazing adventure here in the new forest. It wouldn't be a life with a British video without a little bit of drama, would it? You know how we like to roll? I'll tell you what, even me not being there, the thought, the thought of putting that NG tube makes me absolutely quiver like a dog having a poo on a cold day. <sighs> hate it absolutely hate it but thank goodness for kate hopefully she has a, another heroic moment and gets that down and nurse bridge strikes again i have faith in kate and teddy and zero faith in myself to be honest but i'm a good dog walker this is this is this is what i'm good at just strolling with the pooch picking up dog poo and finding some lovely stuff i just want to get back now but i also don't want to turn up halfway there because that would just be a travesty because I'll just be like, oh, woo, oh, stop, help, oh, NG tube, throw up, oh. Yeah, get this dog walk done. Let's see what the result is. Oh, I just shit myself then. I heard this scream and I stopped and I was like, oh, it's a seagull. <laughs> but it was Teddy screaming. Bear in mind, I'm probably about 400 meters away now, so definitely wouldn't be able to hear him. But shows you how on edge I am. Thinking of seagulls, my son crying. Fantastic. So I've just had a message from Kate saying that he's too strong and keeps wriggling out the blanket. So unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to go and assist and hold him down, which is gonna be grim. But um, I shall put my big boy pants on and go and give this a go and we'll do it as a team. But now I'm lost. I haven't got a clue where I am, which is really annoying because I need to get back now. Where's a map when you need it? Oh my good Lord, I'm there. I need to get down to here. Oh, this is a nightmare. I am so far away from where I'm meant to be. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was going to have to cross that then. I can't believe I'm doing this run and then I've got to somehow hold a steady hand when I get there. Come on, widow. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Finally back. Try to let my heart rate go down before we go back in. Here it goes. I couldn't watch. I just had to hold him tight, close my eyes, and grip my teeth and hope it was over quickly. Finally, the tube was in. We just had to get it in place and put the stickers on. 
I'm so proud of you, mate. Why are we trying not to pull it out, darling? Yeah. You are absolutely so unbelievably brave. Okay. You're okay. Um, yes. It absolutely breaks my heart that our boy has learned the word brave. He says it whenever he is in pain or upset, and it truly shatters my heart that my son is in this situation. Panic over and normality resumed. What a brave little soldier that one is. Baby. He's going brave, brave. Ugh. Anyway, where were we? Time for some breakfast and continue our holiday. But welcome back to our channel. So we have arrived in the town of Brockinghurst amongst all the wild ponies and Teddy's going to lose his mind but actually stood in the pathway. Oh yeah, a bit cautious of getting kicked in the mouth to be honest. I mean, I think this one's got an itchy bum. <laughs> Teddy's got an itchy bum, look he's scratching it on the post. I mean, what a way to start your Thursday I must admit. Anyway, let's find some slightly more hygienic horses. Happy bum itching! <laughs> Oh, can't take these horses anywhere. Look at this little cottage. In the middle of the new forest. It's the dream, I'm telling you. Two bed, mini cottage, that's all we want. In the middle of nowhere, own land. That is the dream. This is what we love about the new forest. It's purely just so much space out in the middle of nowhere. Just house spotting, dreaming, amazing. But we are actually on a pony hunt for Teddy over an eight kilometer walk, walk as Kate said. Perfect way to start a day here in the New Forest. We've got loads of content for you today to show you what the New Forest is all about. It is one of our favorite places in the Southeast of England. That is just, yeah, gives you that feeling of wilderness and the pubs, the scenic views, the fresh air. It doesn't get much better than this. But for now, no waffle from me, but let's go on a horse hunt for Teddy and show you what the new forest has to offer. Open land with wild horses. There's something about it. Check out this. I was sure that swing was going to snap, but the adventure got the better of me. Success. He loves the game of hide and seek. One more time. No! <laughs> We are coming to the end of our eight kilometre walk and it's fair to say Brockinghurst is an absolute must. It's been stunning. I mean the weather helps but so many wild horses and the fact that it is flooded even adds to the beauty of what surrounds us. 
Check it out. Look, it's just a cow in the middle of the road. All right, I've seen it all now. Look, just a casual five cows uh, in the middle of the town. That is hilarious. Look, all the cars are having to wait. <laughs> that is quality. Look how it's got hair, though. Going to the barbers. The best bakery in Hampshire. Well, it would be rude not to. Wow. Sausage roll was six out of ten. Wasn't even worth filming, to be honest. But it's been and it's gone, and it's a thing of the past. But we are finally back at the car now. On to our next destination. We have just got back to Shawfield Country Park where our accommodation is and we ended up driving round purely because Teddy needed a nap and after we stopped off for that pub lunch, um, he was exhausted. So yeah, after our big walk and then the pub lunch, that was a kind of enough for a quick drive around the local area and some of the villages are just beautiful and I think we're going to attack both of them tomorrow actually because they were lovely and we, don't, we didn't want to rush them so we want to actually go with enough time to be able to walk around and enjoy them and um it is now four o'clock, we've just got back and uh, we're just going to chill for the rest of the evening. I'm not sure what we're going to do, so um, but hopefully a lot more uh, to do tomorrow. Went inside, fell to sleep nearly, realised that it's not even six o'clock yet, so I've decided to go out quickly for an hour or so. Play some bingo, maybe. Bingo! <laughs> and bingo! See, um, if there's any entertainment on for Ted. Bingo! Give him a bit more stimulation, let him do a bit of walking and then come back at a more acceptable time to get cosy and drop off on the sofa to sleep. Ted, say bingo! <laughs> come on a bingo! So uh, bingo's looking good, apparently we're the only people that have turned up for it. They need a minimum of seven people when so that's two of us, just waiting on five. Bingo might be a no-go, either way we're out of the house and not asleep, so making the most of it. Cheers. Well, that was short-lived. We're back at the uh, lodge because there was no bingo because we were the only keen beans actually wanting to play at six o'clock. Yeah, Teddy just wants to go to and fro from the arcade, which is amazing, but it lasts 10, 15 minutes, if that because he then just doesn't understand that even if we had one drink and then we were just like, this is just carnage. All he wants to do is just go back to this blue ball and this other red thing. And it's just like, oh, okay, this is just not fun. Went for enough time to stimulate him, do some walking, do some crawling and stuff like that. And then it kind of got to the stage where we we're just like, we might as well be at home. We packed our stuff up and we we're back at the lodge and Willow is just probably eating the rest of my leftover bread that I was feeding the fish earlier. So nice chilled evening tonight. We don't think we're going to be going back over to that bar for the next couple of days because it turns into obviously Friday and Saturday. It gets a lot busier over there. And although Teddy's immune system is a lot better, it is something that we're still very cautious of. So we're going to be hunkering down in the lodge and doing some more fun activities in here. But for tonight, it just about rounds up. Today, hopefully tomorrow, we're going to be heading to those two places that we didn't get to today, and um, which looked absolutely Absolutely stunning. So I'll be showing you some more of the new forest. Lily, what have you been up to, Mister? This boy is literally a toddler. <laughs> we need to wipe your hand. You got a crayon all over them. Well, would you look at this bunch of cuties? Yes, I know. We look adorably cute. Don't we, Ted? Don't we, Mummy? Chi matchy matchy matchy! Matchy! Yay! Friday, and we're going to complete yesterday's mission, Buckless Hard, which we're going to do a walk to Bolio and back and see what that's all about. So we have arrived at Buckler's Head Yard? Head? Buckler's Head. We have arrived at Buckler's Head and uh, this is one of the places that we were meant to be going to yesterday, which we ended up driving to, but we've come to actually... Oh, ex Buckler's Hard. <laughs> Buckler's Hard, not Buckler's Head. Um, we have actually come to explore it today, but we've actually found a walk that drives from Buckler's Head, Buckler's Yard, to Hard. Buckler's Hard, to um, the Bolieu, which is of another lovely village that we, we wanted to see yesterday. So we found a 7.7 .7 kilometre walk that is going to walk us there, around and back. 
Let's give Willow her daily leg stretch and us a daily dose of fresh air. And uh, yeah, so let's see what it has to offer. Buckle is hard, ladies and gentlemen, not yard or head. been so lucky with the weather. Uh, it's been the week before us coming was absolutely freezing but also pissing down. But it's chilly here today and windy but uh, the sun is shining and that's what we can ask for so we are super super lucky um, with this weather and it just makes everything just seem that little bit better. Confession time. We seem to be getting into a habit of having sausage rolls at the end of every walk we do. Um, I don't know, I suppose a little bit of a reward and to refill the tummy. Today, we've had one before the walks even started, so yeah, bad habits. How many sticks do you have? Two. Two, you lucky boy. After a lovely flat scenic walk, we finally arrived in the town of Bewley. It was beautiful and voted one of the most beautiful villages in the UK. We had heard that this town was home to some wild donkeys roaming around the town, but we didn't realise they were going to be as friendly as they are. He's following us, he wants to come back to Bridge HQ. We just need to find a plot of land, mate, and we'll come and get you. We need to put a little tag on it so we know. We'll find you. Be here in two to three years, mate. We'll come pick you up. Ted, look, who's this? What's his name? They are so friendly. So gentle. He is gorgeous. Oh. Even Willow's oh. been so well behaved. Look at them all, they're incredible. This one's literally just sat there, hasn't moved. Donkey, and look, look at all of these up here. It's incredible. You don't even get this interaction on a farm, let alone on the side of the road. Incredible. This place just keeps getting better and better. After exploring the beautiful Bewley, it was time to head back to Buckler's Hard. We made it back. There's no shock here. Henry's back. Time for a beer. After another beautiful walk in this incredible place that is the New Forest, with this kind of view, we couldn't help but stop for a drink. To once again, breathe, take in our surroundings, and cheers to Teddy's amazing results. To have this opportunity to be together as a family was truly a dream. 
What an absolutely lovely walk that was here at Buckler's Yard. We're gonna try and extend this day out, make the most of this weather, and try and find Teddy a farm is what our plan is, to make Teddy's day, because he has been awesome, and why stop now when the weather's like this and we've got time, so uh, yeah. Operation find a farm, let's go. So we have decided to take Teddy to a farm, but unfortunately you can't take the dog in, so we've had a bit of a nightmare, but it shouldn't stop Teddy going to the farm, so Kate's gonna take him in and I'm gonna take Willow for another walk. It's all about Teddy this trip, so um we're gonna go and see some animals. Yeah. Yeah. So quick trip to the farm, quick walk for us, and then we all shall reconvene back at the lodge. Teddy, we're going to the farm! Where is it Teddy? Me, me black. black and white, baby cow. Say hello. Dark heaven. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Good boy. More what, darling? Cow. Want to see more cows? Yeah. Teddy, look. The cow wants to give you a hello. Go. Can you touch him? Go. Can you his nose? Go. Beep. It's a cow. Beep. Baby cow. Beep. Beep. <laughs> Oh, beep beep. These are cows and dogs. Here he comes. Beep beep beep. Beep beep beep. Yay! Is it white? Right? Yeah. Wow. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, mate. It's trying to eat your can. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Should we stop him before he makes a hole? What are they, Ted? Chicks. Oh, baby chicks. Oh look, how beautiful. Are they beautiful? The goats Oh. Are you feeding the goats milk? Is that yummy? Oh look. Is he hungry? Yeah. How do you eat? The milk. Goat. 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 Oh yummy. He's a hungry goat. Wow, is that cute? Cute. What can he see? Hello. Are you saying hello? I think he's going to come and say hello to you too. Say hello. Hello. Oh, good boy. Horsey doesn't have milky, darling. Horsey has hay. Is he going to come say hello? hello. Can you say hello? Yikes. He is white. Is he cute? Mate. Wow, Ted. Is he licking you? Is he licking your fingers? Say hello. <laughs> Careful. He might bite your fingers. Oh, this one's cheeky, this goat. Whilst Teddy lost his pram and his sleeves to the goats, Willow and I had to search approximately two minutes for this little spot of tranquility. After an incredible and lovely day today, it was absolutely jam-packed. We are knackered here at the lodge. Teddy has gone down. We are actually playing a game of Farkle, um, which is a dice game. But um, yeah, just waiting for our lasagna to cook. And then we are having an early night as we have got another busy day planned. And we're hoping to take Teddy on a steam train tomorrow. So um, that'll be good. But um, for now, we shall see you tomorrow. Good morning, you are joining us on our last day here on our amazing adventure into the New Forest. We are here at Exbury Gardens, which is, I think it's over 20 acres worth of plants and flowers and stuff. And it has a steam railway, which you saw on our entrance here. And so we're going to take Teddy on his first steam train, which is going to be lovely. 
little toot in the background. I think it's just setting off now, actually. But well, we're going to go and explore these gardens, and um, apparently it's got flowers from all around the world. Yeah, should be a nice viewing. Next train ride leaves at 11.45, so we have 40 minutes to buy a ticket, have a quick explore, and get on the platform, ready to choo-choo-choo our way around the Exbury Gardens. Kate's looking for a sausage roll. <laughs> just a coffee. I stand corrected. Apparently it's over 200 acres worth of gardens and over 20 miles of paths. So uh, yeah, good job of getting on a train to see it. <laughs> I certainly don't want to be spending my whole day on these 20 miles worth of paths. But, um, we are heading to the train now to go and find our spot and hopefully see the sights of these gardens from the train. On the train, a bit of a tight squeeze, not gonna lie. Look, Ted, just in time for some rain. Well, who's absolutely shitting herself? Bless her. Gonna give one our cuddle. Teddy's day made, finally going on a train. It was time for a quick pit stop at the park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow! A vocal swing, isn't it? Yeah. Hold on! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rawr! Rawr! Together. Kaya. Whee. Kaya. We're together. High five. Let me do a big jump, ready? Break So we have left Exbury Gardens now, which was really nice to be fair, but nothing really was in bloom. So once you've seen a green bush, you've seen a green bush. So we've come to let Willow have a walk because she was absolutely petrified on that train so we decided to treat her for a walk around this lovely big lake Ted's having a nap in the pram and I think we're gonna head back to the lodge start packing up a few things and then we've got a lovely pub dinner booked tonight at around about five o'clock for our last meal here in the new forest and then hopefully tomorrow if we've got time we're gonna take Teddy for his first swim and uh, yeah see how he gets on with that
That is our last walk here at the New Forest. And I'm going to say it because it's been absolutely incredible and a complete breath of fresh air. We were just saying that we've just done Telly's meds. We were saying we have done some meds in some amazing places this week, literally standing in the car park with a view like this, doing his medication. And it makes absolutely everything okay. So, um, but for now, we're heading back home to have a play for about an hour or so. And then we're heading out for our pub lunch a bit later to close off the evening. Oh, showered and clean. I just did an hour's worth of fishing. Caught a couple more fish. Here's a picture here. Now to go out for our final pub dinner, and um, which we're really looking forward to because we actually found this pub early on in the week. And then we saw the menu, we're like, do you know what, we'll go there for dinner one night. And it happens to be our last night. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. All started to get packed up here as well, which is really sad. But all good things must come to an end. And it means we need to book something else because uh, time is precious. I'm sure we'll have some things in the pipeline to go on other places to make some more memories. I also want to just take this time out again just to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to the Lennox Cancer Charity Foundation. They are just fantastic. And the fact they supply some Something as good as this is is um, just unbelievable for families like us this house could not be set up anymore for families with or without cancer but obviously it's set up for families with cancer but it couldn't be more appropriate if it tried it's got a Nintendo Wii it's got playstations for the kids it's got Hoover's ironing boards everything you can imagine from accommodation just to turn up and just have some fun as a family it has 100% got that and more so um yeah, Lennox, you've done yourself proud because you have more than facilitated us for this last six days and yeah, incredible. So once again, any of you out there that are going through similar to what we are with your children, then please, please get in contact with them. As I said, I'll, I'll pop a link in the description below to their website. So please get in contact with them. Even if it's not these weekends away, it's just for some support, some mental support, some emotional support, whatever it may be. They have got the whole package covered and uh, they are fantastic. So once again, thank you so much. And um, anyone else looking to come for a weekend away in the New Forest, think about this Shawfield Country Park because it's been fantastic for us here. There's plenty to do and we're actually going to be leaving tomorrow with still some stuff that we haven't done but yeah hopefully we'll squeeze in some swimming with teddy tomorrow as soon as it opens so it's nice and quiet for teddy and all clean and then yeah then we're going to hit the road and head back to bridge hq feeling very grateful and humble that we've managed to have this time all together as a family but for now time for our final pub dinner <laughs> Good morning, it is Sunday and it is our last morning here on the New Forest where I'm literally just taking Willow for a quick morning wee. Then we're going to be taking Teddy for his first time swimming in months and I actually think it's probably the last time he swam was when we were in Corfu which was a long, 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 long time ago and because obviously he's had his line in for so long and obviously his NG tube is absolutely not an option to go take him swimming but he has no line and his NG tube we're going to do our best just to keep dry and no water in his face but we are up early going to do it whilst there is hopefully nobody in the pool or it is quiet. We've been looking forward to doing this all week and we've decided to do it on our last day to give us something to finish off and round this trip up. So uh, yeah, next up, swimming. Look at that, fresh out of bed. Time to go swimming. Barely woken up and he's like, right, straight in the pool. Let's go. Teddy, you going swimming? Yeah. Excited? Happy. Woohoo. <laughs> Thumbs up for swimming. Owie, it's a swimming pool. This is nice and relaxing, Ted, with that being in a spa. What do you think? You ready for swimming? Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up. That is yeah. us all done with swimming and uh, us done with this trip. To be fair, we're going to head back and pack up the lodge and hit the road ready to head back to Bridge HQ. If there is one passing message that I can give on to you guys that I'm taking from this trip is use your time wisely. Everyone that is watching this video has time because they're watching this video. They're still here, present on this earth. So I 
urge you and push you to get something booked up whatever passion you have or anything you enjoy doing get it booked up go and spend some time with your family and your friends and your loved ones because ladies and gentlemen time is precious and we've had the most incredible time here and we feel eternally grateful to have had that time and as soon as we get home we're going to get planning on booking our next trip because we never know when our time is up so uh that is us all wrapped up all packed up here at the shorefield country park in the new forest it has been the most amazing in week and a two-part video so if you haven't seen the first part click the link above and uh, it takes you right back to the beginning thank you as always for following and supporting our journey don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel and remember guys live for today as tomorrow is never promised back to normality next week